Before I start this episode, I should mention that you can download the CentOS 6.3 virtual machine, which was created in this episode, via the episode notes below this video. Future episodes will be based off this CentOS 6.3 virtual machine. You simply need to download and import the VM into VirtualBox. Also, you can find the root password in the episode notes below. Alright, let's get started. In this episode, we will be using VirtualBox to create a CentOS virtual machine, or VM for short. But before we do that, let me explain what VirtualBox does. VirtualBox is a free product that lets you run virtual machines or VMs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Go ahead and install VirtualBox on your computer. You can refer to the show notes below for download links. CentOS is a free enterprise class Linux distribution derived from Red Hat Enterprise Linux, commonly referred to as RHEL. In order to install CentOS, we first need to download the install media. To do that, go to the downloads page and select the mirror closest to you. We're going to download the CentOS 6.3 i386 minimal ISO. At this point, I'm going to assume you have VirtualBox installed and working, and that you also downloaded the CentOS install media. So let's get started by firing up VirtualBox and creating our first VM. Let's go ahead and create a new VM by clicking New. Then we'll enter the VM name, select the OS type, and since CentOS is a Red Hat derivative, we'll choose Red Hat as the version. The default settings are already pretty reasonable at these prompts. We're just going to go ahead and click through. Here we're prompted for how much storage we want to assign to this VM. Since this is just a play VM, I'm only going to use four. Okay, we created the VM. But before we boot the machine, we need to attach the CentOS install media. To do that, right-click on the VM and select Settings. This is where we connect the CentOS install media we downloaded earlier to an emulated CD-ROM drive. Alright, that's it. Let's fire up the VM. This looks promising, since we see the CentOS install menu. Let's choose the first option to install the system. I normally skip this check, but feel free to do it if you want. Here's a nice message that welcomes you to CentOS. After that, you choose your language and keyboard settings. Since this is a fresh install, we need to initialize the storage. After that's complete, we can go ahead and pick our time zone. Then we need to pick a root password. Here we're presented with an option to change the partition layout, but since this is a test VM, we'll just leave it the way it is, and then write the changes to disk. Alright, now that the installer has our settings, it'll start to lay down the partition table, format the file systems, and install our packages. Alright, looks like we're done. It's just going to install the bootloader, and then ask us to reboot the system. Great, this looks promising. We see a grub menu. Let's just wait a moment here for the system to fire up. Then let's go ahead and log in as root. Looks like we have a working system. Let's go ahead and shut it down. All right, that concludes this episode. Thanks for watching. If you would like to get notified about future episodes, please subscribe to my mailing list. You can do this by going to the Get Notified link in the header and entering your email address. Have questions, comments, or concerns about this episode? What about episode ideas? I'd love to hear your feedback, either good or bad. Shoot me an email, justin at sysadmincasts.com.